trying to not be so intense the majority of the time so I can see myself in the matches I get to see but I'm quite too on it at most of the time and I think today I think I don't know to be honest I think just calm it down a little bit more when I'm making decisions and just making more of a simple decision when I'm playing something instead of going so complex and thinking that it needs to be perfect all the time and it needs to be what I think it should be it should be just at the, the time where the person is like when you said that I went that that was the perfect shot there and I just went quite calm quite composed and I just, I just hit it it was just simple it was the simplest shot instead of trying to go really pushing it wide and going breaking the tunnel on that side and going like too much and going really far around it with my and I'm like, yeah, a really good shot, but it wasn't the most effective shot. For the situation. For the situation, yeah. So what things do you have to take into account in the situation? Where the other person is, what the other person has been doing like in the past. So if they've been standing, if every single time I've got a floor inside out, they've been standing too close to the line, maybe a more effective shot would be to try and break it a little bit more to get them running. But it, or if they're a little bit wider, try to go a little bit more into this side. Yeah, so I think mean, being, yeah, being more effective. For, for me, if I try and simplify what I think you're saying, or, or, or to add in a little bit of what I'm, what I'm seeing, what, what your thoughts are, is you have to be able to have a clear mind when you play to be able to adapt to the situation that is in front of you. Yeah. And that situation will will change within a match or, or can change within a match. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think for me, but the, big, the number one thing I think needs to remain, and I, I would almost even my number one take is you finding a nice tempo to play at. And not, especially on the forehand side, and then not overplaying. And if we go back to the statistics in Morocco, 36 errors on the forehand. Yeah. Of those 36, how many of you did you overplay? Probably the majority of them. You know, of the, in the first three service games of his, he missed nine forehands on all three. You know, so that was at the very, very start of a match. Yeah. You're feeling a little bit nervous. You, you know, maybe you, you hadn't played on clay for a while. Okay, well, do even less. Yeah. Don't do more. Yeah. In that scenario where you feel a little bit nervous, much bigger targets, you know, give yourself bigger margins. Find the tempo that you can that you yeah. can play at. Okay. You know what we got to take away there. I think. I think all the way all the things that he said he overcomplicated already. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like I think I think it's more simple. It's just it's just try try to play more. Try to understand the game a little bit more, and and this is no this is not when I when I'm attacking I'm just attacking all the time because it's, it's impossible in tennis. It's just it's just being a little bit more aware of where you are and where the opponent is and where the ball is and what I have to do. And it's not in tennis is not always hitting stronger and closer to the line. Yeah. And I think for you it's just play better. It's just so when you say like. Before I think you would just say like the right decisions or the right shots. You think the right shot is just hitting always like controlling everything. Like you putting under pressure the opponent sometimes, no. My, majority of the times in tennis. Yeah, and and surprise me that we have been working on the forehand on your forehand and try to get your forehand inside out and you didn't say anything about that. That surprised me because it's the main thing, it's the first thing you should say. Yeah. Like, yeah, in that forehand corner, when I when I play forehand, normal forehand in the middle, the guys get me my backhand and I lose the control of the point completely. But actually, my for as every single time I play forehand in, down the line with height, I won the point or I got the control perfectly. And I do that shot pretty well. You do that shot really good. Yeah, definitely. Really good. But you need to know and you need to trust on that one and you need to do more. Right. But, and as soon as I play a little bit more down the middle, that one, 
that one to any even more rather than go bigger, yeah. wider. If you trust on that one, go even more. And if you miss, miss, miss because of that, just hit the better. Because it's really high, no miss wide. So, but that one, we need to take into consideration that the first thing we have been working on was that. I think he needs to realize that first. Yeah, because of you. You understand that? That's, that's when you want to play, isn't it? That's, that's your pattern. That was the main thing of the of the training today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and linking that into the statistics that we took from Morocco. Yeah. You know, in, in Morocco, what we saw was when you were able to use your serve to get the ball onto your internal forehand, you were more successful. Yeah. When you were when, when you were using your wide serve, but it was hard on clear with effect. And they came into zone A or zone B. You, your effect, your, your effect of winning points was much lower. Yeah. You know, so that was if we go back, that that informed what we then worked on today. And then what we worked on was trying to trying to get out of that position, use the ball down the line to then bring in that pattern. But I, I completely agree with you. I, I thought I was lost when he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you're if you're if we're lost and we've got some okay tennis brains between us, then that tells me you're not clear. Yeah. You know, and I think it was, it was more simple than that. Okay. You know, I think just you know, I think you're looking to use your your pattern to, to bring that play. In. You can't always be the one on offense. You know, when you are on offense, offense doesn't mean attack, attack. It doesn't mean that. It means. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be offensive and I'm gonna build and okay. you know if I can I'll finish the point. If not, it's okay. I can go back and I can I can stay in this rally and I'm happy with the ball in court. Yeah, and and uh, having that nice tempo. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. But well done. I think if you can if you can work smart, I think you're pretty good at working hard. But if you can introduce being smarter with your work, I think that was a that was quite a smart work session. But you also had Plan, myself, and George. So you had three coaches to to you. So it was quite easy to set the environment for it to be smart. Yeah. If you can take that kind of philosophy of whenever you're playing, you're not just working hard, but you're working smart on the court. Yeah. I think that will be a massive thing for you. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.